Hello everyone, welcome to Pronko's Pipe Smoking Den. I'm Pronko, I'm in my den, and today I want to talk about properly storing your tobacco. When it comes to storing your tobacco, especially when you want to age it, there are some things that you need to take into consideration and I will talk about this from my experience from what I've read on the forums from what I've learned from um, veteran pipe smokers and so as you can see I have uh, tobacco in um, in a drawer and also in a closet why because uh, when you are storing your tobacco the light and the humidity are very very important so um, you don't want your tobacco to be exposed to uh, high temperatures uh, high humidity uh, which would lead to mold um, and uh, you want to keep it away from light okay so keeping first of all keeping the tobacco in a drawer or in a closet is the the first best thing that you can do uh, as you can see uh, let me put some light there is also right now there are lots of tins here for decoration but these are all empty so don't keep your um, your tins um, your filled tins out I personally recommend that you keep them in a drawer or in a closet like I do here so for example here are some tobaccos that I already opened and uh, after I open them I immediately put them in a hermetically sealed jar like this one for example uh, why because first of all it keeps the humidity of the tobacco it doesn't get dry and um, storing it like this I just close the, the drawer and the tobacco is safe there there's no light to, to bother it there's no high temperatures and stuff like that so um, the same thing um, I did with uh, all these tins which go <laughs> all the way in the back but um yeah uh, now let's talk about a bit about aging tobacco and uh, tins versus um, jars now from my experience and uh, from what I've read like I said from what I've read and what I've discussed with lots of people experienced pipe smokers they all recommend that you keep your uh, tobacco that you want to age in its original uh, tin obviously sealed uh, that's like uh, that's how I chose to do it uh, for example this um, full Virginia flake they're full and um, they're just hanging in there waiting for the right moment to key to be opened but until then I keep them to age in their original tins if you are buying um, if you're buying bulk tobacco immediately store it in a hermetic jar it will keep uh, it will keep 
the moisture, the humidity, the light and everything uh, under control and you can keep it there as long as you want uh, if it's also stored like I said in a, in a pipe cabinet, no, no, in a closet so in the dark at a cool temperature that is my opinion so preferably you should um, you should age it in its original tin if you can't do that if you opened the tin and it was not what you expected and you want to age it just put it in a mason jar like you usually find in America we don't have at least I didn't find um, mason jars here but um, any hermetically sealed jar will do just fine uh, yeah so if you open it you didn't like it store it in a jar leave it there and check it to see if age did some improvement but um anyway that's uh, that's my two cents on uh, storing tobacco in uh, on aging tobacco as well so um, I hope you you enjoyed this and uh, that this video came in handy if you have a different opinion, opinion don't, don't hesitate to comment on this video. We will talk, we will uh, share opinions. But until then, this was my video. This was my take on aging and storing tobacco. So, till next time, take care and happy puffing.